Next week marks 75 years since the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. Now comes the first memoir of that day from the perspective of a survivor who was aboard the USS Arizona. In All the Gallant Men, Donald Stratton writes about being on the battleship when it exploded and sank. John Blackstone shares this incredible story of survival. The battleship Arizona graces the back of Donald Stratton's classic truck. Now, at 94, he points out the anti-aircraft gun. Right there. Where, as a 19-year-old, he fought the Japanese sneak attack on Pearl Harbor, December 7, 1941. In less than two hours, American naval power in the Pacific has been paralyzed. Some of the pilots waved at us and smiled. They were waving at you while they That's were shooting right. at you? And we were firing at them, but... Uh, we could see our bursts in the sky, and they were way short. The Arizona was one of eight battleships under unrelenting Japanese airstrikes, as seen on the Smithsonian Channel series, The Lost Tapes. A single lucky hit was responsible for the disaster that befell the Arizona. Just blew a fireball about six or 800 feet in the air, and that just engulfed us over where we were at. I was like burned over 60% of my body. We were just actually burning alive. Randy Stratton is Don's son. Some of his scars you can see, some you can't. Some he'll never get over his whole life. Any noise, even to this day, the phone goes off, he jumps through the ceiling because of that bomb going off. Dense black smoke billowed to the sky as the massive control tower began to keel over. For nearly 75 years, Stratton said little about how he survived as more than 1,100 others on the Arizona perished. But he has finally written a memoir, All the Gallant Men. It reveals things even Velma, his wife of almost 67 years, had never heard. When I read the book, I cried. He really never talked about it. He never told me his story about anything about what happened. Of the explosion, Stratton writes, the flames found us, burning off our clothes, our hair, our skin. Men stumbled around in the deck like human torches, each collapsing into a flaming pile of flesh. A makeup artist's recreation of his injuries is hard to look at. How do you go on fighting or trying to survive with that amount of pain? Well, it's just self-preservation. I just pulled the skin off my arms and threw it down because it was in the way. And then... you, you pulled the skin off your arms? Well, it was burned. It was just hanging down there. With the flames below him and using badly burned hands, he somehow pulled himself along a rope about 80 feet to safety on another ship. You were coming across that rope. The Japanese are still strafing. Oh, yeah, they were still bombing and strafing and everything, yeah. Recovery meant months of searing pain and surgeries. When doctors wanted to amputate his limbs, Stratton refused. Did you think you are going to make it? I don't think I ever entered my mind that I wouldn't. And he wouldn't be kept away from the fight. Little more than a year after Pearl Harbor, he re-enlisted and fought in the Pacific. Did you think you had a score to settle? Thought about a little revenge, but we had a job to do. Over the years, he has returned again and again to the Arizona Memorial. And it's very sad. That's a very sacred place. I lost so many shipmates that day. It's just like going back and losing them all over again. On the 60th anniversary, Japanese pilots who attacked Pearl Harbor came in peace and were greeted with friendship by many American veterans. Have you managed to forgive Japan? Let's put it this way, 1,167 men out there on that Arizona, I sure as hell wouldn't shake hands with them, so I'm not going to do it. Next week, on the 75th anniversary, he'll return with his whole family, including great-grandchildren. Knowing that probably it will be the last time, and that's hard. But the Stratton family vows never to forget. Like granddaughter Nikki, each wears a locket holding a fragment of the USS Arizona. To constantly remind us where my grandfather came from, the Arizona is in our blood, uh, quite literally in our blood. For most who visit the Arizona Memorial now, this sacred place is part of distant history. But it's not distant at all for Donald Stratton. As he writes in All the Gallant Men, I had lost a part of myself in the ruins of that ship and a big part of my family in the men who died there a part of myself that now would be forever entombed with them.
For CBS This Morning, John Blackstone, Colorado Springs. Oh my, this is the most incredible mm. story. It is and the perfect title, isn't it, in order for, to describe Mr. Stratton and his people? So I'm, I'm reading here, Don Stratton, he's, he's one of only five survivors of the USS Arizona still alive today. And he also holds the distinction of having served as both the first and the last battles of World War II. I love that his wife and he are together and that even she's learning something. And what a gift and a blessing it is for us that he's sharing the story with us. And everyone should know the hand. story of Donald Stratton. You're right. Yeah. Gallant man indeed. Thank you, John Blackstone, for that great story. Thank you. Thank you, right. Donald Stratton. Yeah, I know. Yes. Yeah, for writing <laughs> Thank that. Thank you, Donald John Stratton is right. That's right.